Hi everyone, my name is Callie from the King Township Public Library. Welcome to April Break at Home. And we are going to be doing some superhero coding uh, with just a couple of things that you can find around your house and your imagination. We can make our superheroes go through the maze and be heroes. All right, let's work on our superhero coding. So first thing we're going to want is something, something to write with. We're going to want a piece of paper. We're going to want a superhero. I don't have, so I'm actually going to use a pen. We're going to want a hundred post-it notes or squares of paper, like construction paper or whatever you thought was fine. We're going to want some obstacles. These are just things I found around my house that I'm hoping will work. A candle, a pot holder. Um, make sure you ask your parents before you start grabbing things. And we will um, use these. And then you are going to want or collection objects of some sort. So I'm using pom poms. So put these aside for now. I'm not sure how well the ball is going to work because I think it's going to slide around. So let's start it by making our grid. You can make yours um, bigger, of course. I'm just working with a uh, limited space. And now we're going to label a start and end. This will be where your superhero starts the maze and ends the maze. Where they'll enter and exit. And now we're going to place our obstacles. Now there's no right or wrong way to do this but you will just want to make sure that your superhero can still get through. Mine's gonna be a little bit trickier just because it is fairly small. Um, the bigger you make it, um, the easier that will be. And now I'm going to put my coins down. You don't have to put them everywhere. Just a couple will be great. They can be along the path or not. Um, it's just a way for your superhero to collect some uh, coins. So now we're going to start coding. So this is where you'll need the pen and paper, and this is where a friend or a family member would be great because you're going to get them to code a path for your superhero to go through the maze. So it's just going to be simple commands like forward, right, back, left, and your superhero will follow these commands as they go through the maze. So if we said forward, they would go forward, right, back, and left. And um, if they just put it once, then they would just move one square. But if you wanted to get a little bit harder, you could always say forward two squares. And they have to go one, two, and then they'd go on. So this is just like a code on a computer. It's really simple and it just tells your superhero or the computer, what to do. So you're going to take your friend's commands and you're going to follow them um, with your superhero through the maze. So hopefully the code would have it so you can move and collect coins along the way and get to the end point. But if the code has you go and hit an obstacle, that's perfectly fine. You're just going to want to go back to the start and re have your friend rewrite the code to help you avoid the obstacle. And to have your superhero make it successfully one square at a time through the maze. So have fun. Um, this is great. You can keep doing this over and over again. You can mix up where the obstacles are, where the pride, the coins are, where your start and end are even. And you guys can take turns being the coder and the superhero to see how your superhero can get through your maze. What did you guys think? Did you have fun? This is also a great pre-step to borrowing our blue bots. Our blue bots work in much the same way that we had our superheroes work. So if you were able to have fun and figure out how to make your superhero go through the maze, why not check out one of our blue bots from your local library?